Hi, this is Athena, goddess of weaving. I'm a crystal intuitive and a twin flame. And today I want to talk to you about shaman stone. This is shaman stone. And interestingly enough, I've been on this crystal path for quite a long time without even realizing it. Excuse me. I had an awakening in April 2012 where my amethyst literally electrocuted me through the heart chakra and I, it sent a charge of electricity mm -hmm. from my heart through my heart and up and out my mouth. That was an intense activation. I thoroughly advise against what I did <laughs> and um, I am very careful with crystals near my heart chakra. So anyway, interestingly enough though, when I was a kid, I would go around and just pick up rocks that would just look like they wanted me to pick them up. And certain ones I wanted to pick up and take them home. Well one day, I was about, I don't know, before I hit puberty, I was about 10 years old probably, I was riding my bike around the block, which I often did. I love riding my bike. Loved it as a kid. It's like total freedom. I didn't have to worry about what anyone was saying. I could do what I wanted, and it was great. And I still love that freedom. And back then, when I was a kid, you didn't have to wear helmets. So everyone, helmet shit. I don't know. It protects your skull. But really, I mean, I wear one now because I have kids and they need to do the right thing. But I still want to go without my damn helmet. So anyway, I was riding my bike around the block when suddenly this thing appeared right in front of my bike tire. So I get off my bike, flip down the kickstand, walk around to the front of my bike, pick it up, and I remember saying, looks like a piece of metal. Smells like a rock. And I put it in my pocket and I pedal back home. Or, you know, kept pedaling, doing whatever I was doing. Um, I had this rock for a while. When one day my little brother comes up to me and he goes, Athena, would you be mad at me if I broke your rock? And I was like, you broke my rock? I knew exactly which rock he was talking about. <laughs> so I was like, show me. So he took me home and he showed me the rock. broke like this right in half and check that out that is what is inside shaman stones it is literally sandstone which is quartz crystals surrounded by iron hematite so we got an amplifier encased in the grounding stone now Curiously, a few years ago, after my heart chakra activation, I was talking to a friend of mine after I was getting into crystals more and more. And she's like, Athena, we've got to go down to Crone's Cupboard and we have to go there because you love that place. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So finally she talked me into it and, you know, it's a local metaphysical store here in Boise and they had shaman stones there. Only I didn't know what this thing was called at the time. I just knew this was my rock. And I've had it a long time. 30 years now. 30 plus. <laughs> anyway. I was really amazed to find the description on this rock at the store. Basically they have these little papers that show like an image and a little bit of a metaphysical description of the rock and, and where they come from. And it basically says that the shaman stones are found at the north rim of the Grand Canyon and they come from in various sizes from you know you know small pebble size up to the size of like a baseball so mine's like maybe bigger than a golf ball but not a whole lot oops <laughs> and um, you're supposed to work with them in pairs and you're supposed to work with them in male and female pairs and I was like, whoa, I have a shaman stone 
show itself to me. I always kind of thought I was a shaman too because of some other stuff that happened to me as a kid. But that was totally awesome. Like outside validation from this thing that happened so long ago. Totally awesome. And um, anyway, time went by and I decided after learning how I could check um, the energetic male or femaleness of a stone, um, I tested them. I, I tested each half and uh, guess which half is the male half? Like in nature, the male is the smaller one. <laughs> and this is the female. So that's totally awesome. I've been meditating with this ing for a long time and I specifically wanted to work with it on the earth star chakra because I had read that this stone works as an earth star chakra stone. So I decided to do a video series called Crystals Through the Chakras, which this is my first video, and talk about different crystals as we go through different chakras and talk about each. So the Earth Star Chakra is basically a chakra that is below our feet and connects us to the Earth. I have felt this chakra. And it's amazing. And it literally does connect you to the earth. But it does a hell of a lot more than just that. Which I found out through meditation. I was meditating with my chakra stone. With my shaman stone. And I felt myself connect to the earth. And felt myself connect to the core. And then I felt the core come back to my earth star chakra. And then enliven my chakra system. And it did that by basically shooting light throughout my chakra system in a tree of life sort of a pattern. And I was very curious to find out that this shaman stone and the earth star chakra connect to all the other chakras like you wouldn't even believe. Connected all the way up to the soul star chakra. Now this is a very important stone, and I am very glad to have found it. Totally solidifies the idea that I've had my whole lifetime that I have been here before. <laughs> I'm here to do an important job, and the crystals are communicating with me, and it's fucking awesome. Pardon my French, and if you're under 13, please. Ignore my potty mouth. Sorry, I might have to put an age restriction on this video, but you know, you can ignore it if you really want to. <laughs> so, anyway, that is my story about the Shaman Stone and the Earth Star Chakra. I highly recommend getting in touch, you know, with the Shaman Stone, using it to connect to the Earth Star, and Check out what happens with your chi tree of life. Your chi. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So check it. If you want to check out my website, I'm, I'm developing a new website. And it's called crystalempowerment.com. I don't have a lot of stuff there. I have a lot of my old um, blog posts from WordPress that I've gone back onto my website. I switched from WordPress to Wix. And by the way, Wix sucks. So I'm going back to WordPress and I feel like the name Crystal Empowerment really just demonstrates what I'm here to do. I'm here to help people empower themselves through the use of crystals. And they want to help us. So check it. Anyway, thanks for visiting. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll catch you next time.